I've been trying to tell y'all to stay patient with the men's basketball team. Y'all have basically told me y'all ain't trying to hear that shit. Okay, you're not trying to hear that shit. Okay, okay. Let me let me run this down for you at least. Okay, and then we'll get into it. Uh, the men's program just split on the past week. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we lost to Grambling uh, the previous Monday, 73-64. Uh, the game was tighter than that uh, throughout the game, basically. In, in the waning parts, the latter parts of the second half uh, is where we fell off. All right. In that game, once again, J Mac had his customary double double, okay, in which he had 15 points, 16 boards, and seven blocks. That boy is a stud on the defensive end, okay? But as I've said before, Still not getting enough. Still, just, we're just not getting enough out of the guards, especially. Okay. Really didn't get much out of anybody else. Wilson went three for four from the field. Shit. Brown went three for 13 that game. Malachi ended up with 12 points. You know, he was being aggressive. You know what I'm saying? So he ended up uh, shooting 10 free throws and he had nine of them in that game, but he went one for five from the field, all right? And we end up losing that one by nine, okay? We end up beating Valley on Saturday, you know, as I take today. We beat Valley by four without J-Mac, who happened to be injured. I think he had an ankle injury, uh, from what I understand. Now, in that game, T. Lou had 28 and 10. Now, hold on, back up. In the previous game against Grambling, T. Lou had two points, seven boards. But against Valley, T. Lou went for 28 and 10. See, if we can get that to go what J. Mac been doing, we shit, we be on to something. We be on to something. Uh, but that ain't what y'all here for. Y'all don't give a fuck about that. Y'all don't give a fuck about that. Okay, y'all told me that. So let's get into what you're here for. Let's just say <clears throat> if Coach Wayne Brent is on his way out at Jackson State, who y'all got replacing him? Hmm? Who y'all got? Okay. I've heard, uh, well, I read one of y'all real ones out the name Allen Iverson AI the answer the legend himself that was very provocative that would be one of them splashes like prime for real for real I haven't heard that AI wants to get into coaching I know that uh AI was saying that he deserves it's kind of crazy that he doesn't have some kind of position uh with the Philadelphia 76ers, which is true. Cause in the NBA, uh when you're a great player for one of these franchises, usually, you know what I'm saying, they give you like an ambassador position with the team and shit like that. See Zo morning down there with Miami, for instance, something like that. Uh but I haven't heard AI say he wants to coach. You know, I'm not saying he couldn't coach. I haven't heard him say that. Now, that would be fucking ironic if AI became a coach, given all the hell that he gave Larry Brown. He loves Larry Brown dearly, but let's just say they had their squabbles. And I ain't even talking about the practice shit. I ain't, I'm not even talking about that. Because if you deep dive on that, you know that I think maybe one of his closest friends that just got murdered and shit like that. And it was deeper than that. But I don't know. Other names that, of course, would come up. We just beat Valley. Head coach of Valley. Jackson State. 
Legend. Lindsay Hunter. Is that a name that y'all would give a chance? If you give him um give him the wave that Jack State is riding on. You know what I'm saying? Getting him, get him in there on that coach prime train, get him in there on that coach reed train. You know what I'm talking about? Can he can he use uh his NBA background to attract folks to Jackson State better than he can up there at Valley? Is that somebody I would consider? Does it have to be a college guy? You know what I'm saying? Uh, is that what you want? Are you done with high school guys, guys that have dominated high school? Like, guy I used to coach with, Anthony Carlisle. I hear a lot of people, uh, a lot of people complain about Coach Brent's offense. Think they need to jazz it up a little bit. Anthony Carlisle is a wizard when it comes to offense. Don't get me wrong, he coached defense as well, but offensively especially. He can do some things. Also, I think he would be great in recruiting. You know what I'm saying? Young, knows how to work social media. Uh, just he really doesn't give a shit about anything else but basketball. That's the kind of motherfucker you want. You know what I'm saying? Well connected. But maybe y'all want a high school guy because, you know, because of, you know, Coach Brent's situation. Does it have to be somebody with ties to Jackson State directly? Can it be somebody just with ties to Jackson? But maybe they play somewhere else, but they have some cachet behind their name. Maybe they got a NBA All Star Game appearance behind their name. Maybe they got some swack coaching experience behind their name. Can I interest you in Mo Williams? Is that who y'all would like? Would y'all give Mo a chance to bring it back to Jacktown and maybe, uh, maybe we didn't get Mo? To go to Jackson State, you know, he went to Alabama and the SEC. But maybe he doubles back, you know, kind of like Prime. Prime ain't go no fam, you and no shit like that. He ain't go to no Bethune cooking with the Florida State. But now you know at HBCU. Is, is is that what y'all want to try to little mo over there and try to see if he can make a splash and Use some of that NBA cachet. Maybe he can get Brum Brum to come down and shit. You know what I'm talking about? Like Prime be bringing in all these motherfuckers like T.O. and all these folks. Maybe Mo. Tell me what y'all think. Because obviously, y'all don't give a fuck what I've been talking about about B-Page. You know, we are guard away. Uh, Wyman got to get his legs under him and all this other shit. And I get it. I get it. Comparatively speaking, it's crazy what the, what the girls, are, what the ladies are doing. It's amazing. So I, you know, and what, and what we uh, just saw from the football team, what we anticipate seeing from the football team, also amazing. So I get it. So I want to hear from y'all. Tell me if Coach Brent is headed out, who y'all got replacing? Put it on some. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me across all social media platforms. Like the videos and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit Statement Tees, LLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.